Yoshi is adorable. I mean, come on, just look at that face. He's like a dog or something. A green reptilian dog with a giant tongue. Yoshi made his debut in the SNES Classic Super Mario World as a mountable ally that lets you execute new abilities. You're probably used to seeing that kind of stuff in games now, but back then, it was brand new and it blew everyone's mind. But not as much as the fact that you had to help Yoshi and his friends because Bowser trapped them inside of eggs. Think about that for a second. Take all the time you need. Then, strangely, Yoshi received his own game on the NES, which was the previous Nintendo console at the time. It was pretty much just another Tetris ripoff. But then, it happened. Yoshi's Island Super Mario World 2. One of the most pivotal and trademark games of the entire SNES era. Much like Wario Land, Yoshi's Island was technically a sequel to a Mario game that spawned its own franchise, spawning several great sequels and games. The island theme became the general theme of this character, if you will, having Yoshi's Island appear in several different games in varying formats with varying characters. So yes, Yoshi is a Mario character, but he has become much more than that in the eyes of Nintendo. But that doesn't mean he doesn't still get demoted occasionally to having to give Mario rides again. Oh cruel, cruel fate. I'm gonna be straight with you. I have not practiced with this character at all. <laughs> I just haven't. I just simply haven't. It's cause... Let me explain. It's cause he's a Mario killer, and I'll explain about that in a minute. First of all, we're gonna go as green, regular Yoshi here. You can't fool me with all those, those other bullshit Yoshis. Call me a just... Talk, say I'm racist. I don't care. I, um, yeah, I'm racist against the other Yoshis. That's the thing. The green ones. Green master race. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Where we are? Mario Kart? Okay. Yeah, fuck you, Pit. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't grab me. I don't like that. Alright. Yeah, I, I did not practice with this character at all. I don't know how to space with him or anything. So, if you if you don't want to take my advice on how to play as Yoshi, I, I understand that. I, I completely understand that. But, uh, okay, this pit is all... No, no, no. I, I, I got this. I got this. Like, I, I believe in me. I believe in me. I, I know you guys probably don't right now, but I believe in me. Especially after that, like, Jeopardy quiz I just made you just take. I mean, I wouldn't want you to, like... I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be happy with me if, like, somebody made me take that. I'd be like, no, I'm just trying to watch a Smash Brothers video. And Tunis, why the hell are you... Why are you making me play Jeopardy? Get down! Okay. I don't know too much... I mean, I know a couple of things about Yoshi. But one thing I do know is that you should not have done what I just did. You do not want to go low with this character. I learned from some very rude people on, like, a Smash Brothers, like, Facebook page that I used to follow that Yoshi's Double Jump does have super armor. If you're a hardcore Smash fan, you probably knew that already. But, uh, I did not know that at the time. So, if you're trying to recover on stage, don't do what I just did. Again, I did it again. I'm just so used to playing as Mario and going low to recover as, like... And going- not going low to recover, like, going low to try and, like, gimp opponents and stuff. That, like, I'm just, like, instinctively doing it as Yoshi, but I, it's because I don't know, like, this character's playstyle. Alright. Yoshi gets the award for most improved in Smash 4. He used to be ass. He used to be complete ass. He wasn't good in... He wasn't good in the 64 version. He wasn't that good in Melee either. I mean, but you see Amsa play Yoshi, and he can definitely hold his own against the higher tier characters. But still, like, to the average, like, Melee player, Yoshi's not that good. And I don't know how he was in Brawl, because, like, everybody hates Brawl. But, like, Yoshi... I don't know. I don't think he was too good in that game either, but I don't know. I don't have much competitive experience with that game. Uh, but Yoshi... I, I firmly believe that he is one of the best characters in this game. I just honestly believe that. And it might be because, like, I don't know. Every character in this game, like, has matchups with, like, other characters compared to one another. And Yoshi just has Mario so beat. If there's, like, a good Yoshi playing against, like, a good Mario, the Yoshi player will probably win. Because just so many of Yoshi's options just completely cover Mario. Like, Yoshi's neutral game is... So everything about Yoshi, I'm just gonna tell you right now, almost everything about this character, besides probably his recovery, is so, so good. 
like, I don't know, he just has great projectiles in the neutral game. He has a phenomenal jab that lets you combo into his dash attack. A much more powerful dash attack. Uh, he can find Yoshi can also finally jump out of shield after being the only character in the game that couldn't. Like, he used to just straight up not be able to do it. Oh, please kill yourself. Oh. <laughs> Gotta taunt after that one. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But when you have- when you're playing as a character like Pit and you have one of the best recoveries in the game and you do something like that, y you gotta taunt. Y you just have to do it. But either way, Yoshi, he is just phenomenal in this game. Uh, we're gonna go with Red Yoshi this round. He is just phenomenal in this game because he just has a lot of options. His up tilt can come- uh, not his up tilt, his up air, like, sort of like Mario, his up tilt can combo into his up air into another up air into another up air, but Yoshi's up air isn't really- it's a combo move at low percents. Same with Mario, it's except, uh, it's also a kill move. I mean, Mario's, uh, what do you call it? His, uh, his up air is a kill move at really high percents. Yoshi's is a kill move at just regular high percent. Like, that's the thing. Like, Mario, in my eyes, is, he, like, Yoshi's high tier for sure, and so is Mario. But Mario is just, I think Mario's, like, a better character because he does better against the rest of the matchup. Even though, like, Yoshi has, like, Mario so beat in the matchup between the two of them. This pit player, he's doing alright. He's doing okay. See, Yoshi... Another reason Yoshi is good is because all of his smash attacks are good. Like, if you're trying to, like, edge guard, like, you should stand at, like, around this length away from the edge and, uh, do a down smash. Because it covers, like, the roll or get up option for your opponent. And that just, like... That could result in a KO, or potentially even just keeping your opponent off stage longer, and then you'll be able to needle them with eggs. Which are a phenomenal projectile, by the way, that can be thrown in, like, any and all directions. And Yoshi's side smash- oh, what, what do you call it? Yeah, Yoshi's side smash, another really powerful move. And he also has a different up smash as well, it's this flip kick. Which is another great- oh, okay. Which is another great option against, like, characters that are, like, falling below you. I mean, falling, like, above you. Whatever. Balls. This guy, like, knows how to rustle my jimmies. Alright. Yoshi can also start his, uh, up tilt combo out of his down throw. If I could grab this guy, which I don't think I can. Not to mention, another thing about Yoshi is that he's sort of, like, he functions like a lightweight to middleweight character, and yet... He's as heavy as, like, a heavyweight character. You notice, like, Pit did, like, I don't remember what move it was, but it was one of his powerful ones. I was at 175, and I lived with the eye. Like, Yoshi is just, he also lives for a very long time as well. He has one of the best friggin', what do you call it, uh... There we go, hold on. Up till, oh, no, up air, fuck. He also has one of the best spikes in the game. It's his forward air. It's like Mario's forward air, except a thousand times better, because it comes out way faster than Mario's forward air. And I'm pretty sure it's just as powerful as well, so... Alright. Yeah, see, I'm not the best with Yoshi, so this pit's kind of doodling me right now, but hey, what am I gonna do? There we go! Alright. Come on, recover. Got him. <laughs> Yoshi's, uh, down to, uh, down air, as I, as you just saw. Yoshi's down air, it's, uh, I guess it's pretty good for gimping, like you just saw, even though it would've been safer to just go for, like, a forward air or a back air, which are also two great aerials that Yoshi has, but, uh... This move, if you execute it correctly, can do, like, 40 damage. Like, if you manage to land every single hit with it, like, it does a ridiculous amount of damage. Yoshi can also nair out of combos easily, and also double jump out of them easily. Like, if he's being like, you know what I do when I play as Mario? I do, like, that up tilt combo where I just do that spinning, like, punch move. Uh, Yoshi can just nair out of that, and if he can't nair out of that, he can just, like, double jump out of it. Because his double jump has super armor, and it's a very high jump. The downside to this, though, is that Yoshi does not have an up B recovery move, but it doesn't matter. Because that was even improved, like, from Melee. Like, Melee was a very fast game. Like, characters were fast fallers, things like that. Like, the game was just much faster paced, so Yoshi wasn't that good in it because it didn't... The game didn't exactly fit his playstyle. But in this game, even in Brawl 2, Yoshi had this. He has the air mobility, like, of Jigglypuff. He just moves so flawlessly throughout the air, especially if you do his up B, which has good horizontal recovery to it if you do it once, but that, the thing is though, you can only do that move once, it's why Yoshi's recovery is not the best, but, uh, yeah, 
he just moves like as fluidly in the air as Jigglypuff in this game, which is really good for him because Yoshi also has amazing aerials. And his ground game, also not bad either. Because like like I said, his smash attacks are really good. All of his smash attacks. Like his down smash is good for edge guarding. His up smash and forward smash are amazing kill options. This character, he really just doesn't have any downsides. At least not apparent downsides besides his recovery. And like some people like myself like thought like, oh wow, I hate Yoshi. He needs to be nerfed. But that's the thing. When a character needs to be nerfed, it implies that there's something about him that, like... It implies that there's something about the character that requires very little skill and gets very high reward off of it. Like, Diddy, for instance, I believe was overpowered before he was nerfed. Because, like, his attacks, for a lightweight character, his attacks just did way too much damage. Like, for what they were worth. Like, his, like, up tilt combo in that game, like, down throw to up tilt, like, boom. Your opponent was at 20 damage immediately with two moves. And for a lightweight character who, like, has attacks out that fast, that just wasn't fair. Okay, hold on. Alright. Oh, I could have gimped in there, but I didn't. Alright. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say about Yoshi. Oh, also his down B, which is sort of like Bow- which is sort of like Bowser's, that ground pound. If you manage to land the move and your opponent is shielding, it will likely break their shield. Which I think is ridiculous, but if you do, obviously you'll be able to get a good, like, friggin' smash attack off of that. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I gotta, like, space myself. Why would you do that? Why would I do that? More likely. Alright. So Yoshi can use his eggs to approach. Or his, uh, back air, which is a multi-hit move that also does a lot of damage. But don't just immediately dash attacking your opponent like I did, otherwise you'll get F smashed. Yes! Come here. Come here. Let me turn you into a child. Come here. Damn it. No! Oh, I tried. Alright, yeah. I, I honestly... Again, like, I'm just telling you the good things about Yoshi, which are most things. Like, Yoshi, I just thought, like... I just thought Yoshi was overpowered at first, just because, like, when I was playing as Mario, like, my absolute best character, I had literally no options against him. But that's just because, like, the Yoshi versus Mario matchup is a bad matchup for Mario. Probably the worst matchup for Mario in this game, really. He's just, like, Yoshi just has Mario so beat, because his options just cover him. And that's why I thought, like, Yoshi was overpowered. But again, a character being overpowered just implies that there's something, like, that requires no skill with the character that makes him, like, very easy to play. Like, that gives you, like, very rewarding play. Like, oh, I could just keep doing this move and I'll win. Like, and there's no reason not to do that because, like, that's just the best strategy. Like, no. If, like, Yoshi requires skill to play. Like, just a good Yoshi is, like, unstoppable is the only problem. This character is very, very popular in Japan from what I hear. I can see why. So, honestly, if any character were to get nerfed, which I don't think really any character deserves to, because that would make the gameplay kind of dull and boring, I feel like it probably would be Yoshi. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I would actually be kind of happy about that. Die! There we go. That took forever. Right, I'm playing as Purple Yoshi because Purple Yoshi is love and Purple Yoshi is life, alright? Tell me, I'm also adjusting some mic settings a little bit, so how can you guys hear me right now? Do I sound okay? Because, I mean, I was trying to keep, like, the fullness of my voice in. But, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to do that when you're focusing, like, on Smash. Die! Die. Alright, you can reflect these, Pit. I can't reflect those, but you can reflect these. I'm just saying. Oh, also, Yoshi can crawl. Let that just because that's... Just because he can. Die. Okay, this seems to be the viable strategy. Just chucking out my unborn fetuses at him. Yeah, see, look, he's almost at my percent, and I'm just chugging my fetuses at him. Go, unborn Yoshis! Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, but you will forget it, because you don't exist yet. Yes! I got it! No! No, bitch! No, 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 don't do the downbeat. Don't do the downbeat, just land! No! That move has super armor? Okay, sorry, sorry. Oh my god, I actually have a chance. Alright, see, also you could throw eggs vertically by, like, pressing back on the, uh, control stick when you're doing that. And that gives Yoshi good coverage. Like, the pit want to try to go above me. He can't go above me. Because I have a child. No, please. No, come on. No, come on. I don't want to play another match. No! 
Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a little scared right now. Oh, he's fishing for it. He's fishing for it. <laughs> Yoshi's up tilt. I mean, Yoshi's up air is also one of his best kill options. It just does, like, it, that move just has great knockback at high percents. This is gonna kill. Yeah. Ah. Really? You're gonna taunt? I, I just, I don't respect that. Like, you, I only taunt in, if I do something that's worthy of taunting in this game. Like, if, like, if, it, if I reflect something back at somebody and then they reflect it back at me like a projectile or whatever, and then I reflect it back at them and I get the kill, that's when I taunt. Not when you're able to, like, get a basic kill after a guy who doesn't even main Yoshi put up a great fight against you just by chucking my unborn children at you, okay? So just... You're not good, alright? Is what I tell myself to feel better about myself. But like I said, I already played my main, so... Just gotta keep going down the list. See, that's the thing. I wish this game had voice chat so I could just let people know that I'm not a Yoshi main. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, see. I remember, like, I don't know, like, I'm playing as the Black Yoshi, so it's making me think of this thing I saw. Like, there was a YouTube channel that I watched when I was a kid. I kind of still watch them a little bit now sometimes. It's called, like, Super Mario Logan, and they, they like, they does, like, plush movies of, like, Mario characters and stuff. And I remember he did this one that, like, it was called Black Yoshi, and it was about, like, a Black Yoshi who was incredibly, like, ghetto. And he killed Toad for, like, touching, like, his copy of Call of Duty or something. And just now, like, as an adult, I realize how racist that movie actually was. Not as racist as not- not as racist, though, as putting the black Yoshi in this game and not the white Yoshi. Like, come on, what's up with that? And just for the record, like, if I beat this guy, I'm gonna taunt just because he taunted at me, so, you know. Yeah, you know how it is. See- ah, oh, see, now I'm gonna die because, like- See, now I'm gonna die because Yoshi's recovery is not that good. Please taunt. I thought he was gonna taunt because, like, I killed myself and then I would've been able to get him. I love it when people do that on 4 Glory. Like, I remember just the other day, like, I was playing, right? And I bodied this guy, like, three times in a row. Yeah, see, I'm good, bro. Like, I'm good. Like, your footstool jump? Which shouldn't... That's the only complaint I really have with this game. Why is footstool jumping still a thing? Like, I don't understand how that's okay. Damn, why didn't I tech... Why didn't I read that? I should've known he was gonna roll. Down we go. No, I'm back up. Alright, see, Yoshi's also phenomenal at edge guarding, if you can't tell. He just has a lot of aerial moves that he can bait out. Ugh, just so many good things about this character, man. So many good things. See, I forget that Pit can just, like, bait out his, like, forward air and then, like, not get hit. And Yoshi is one of the few, uh, few characters that it's much safer to actually recover high with. Because, like, you know, he jumps high enough that, like... Because, like, he jumps high enough that, like, uh, what do you call it, uh... I know words. I can speak vocabulary. I can speak- I speak anguish. Uh, that, like, he jumps high enough that, like, most opponents, like, probably wouldn't be able to get up and get you anyway. But alright, guys, that is just gonna be- that's gonna about do it here. I was, like, I was dreading having to do this one because I hate fighting Yoshi. He's the bane of my existence in this game because I'm a Mario main, and like I said, Yoshi is a great matchup against Mario. But- I'm about to go Mario and completely destroy this guy. So thank you all so much for watching. Hit me up on Facebook for all the latest updates. Tune in next week in which we tackle Rosalina and Luma, who is one of the more intricate characters to play in this game and is also one of the best, one of the top tier characters. Uh, we'll see why next week. So like, comment, and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll shut up now. Take care, everyone. Every time.